Well, hello, my name is David Close. I'm a professor at the University of British Columbia, uh, director of the Aboriginal Fisheries Research Unit. Um, I've been there for about six years and I work in the fishery center as well as the Department of Zoology. And uh, here today listening to folks talk uh, about uh, the importance of salmon and how the community can come together to make a difference in, in uh, fisheries governance. And so from my perspective, uh, at least, we, we have to have uh, a movement to build capacity for our young people and education. And uh, I think it's important not to forget who we are as indigenous people. But we also have to get the science tools to be able to work and uh, try to defend our resources and, and our fisheries. So that's going to be uh, very important in the near future as the political landscape changes and rights are recognized and the First Nations have uh, a role in co-management. Today, First Nations are uh, marginalized here in Canada. And so I think it's important, though, to prepare for the future. And so when that time does come, uh, we have uh, people thinking and considering uh, a different viewpoint about the system, about nature. And so I'm really excited about meeting with everybody here at the Convergence and talking about different ideas on how we make change at different scales. So we can think about it as very grassroots movements and trying to uh, maybe stop activities that are harmful to the watershed and the resources, the fish. And then we can have, uh, including building uh, collaborations with science uh, to help in protecting the watershed. And uh, we don't always have to rely on the government agencies. We can try to build alliances with the universities and other foundations and other uh, sources of resources uh, funding to do the research. So I think that's an important rec to recognize that. As well as, uh, you know, working at the national level uh, is important. And then we even touched on working at the international level, which I think is very important uh, in, in thinking about if the government of Canada will not recognize uh, Aboriginal fishing rights uh, and allow co or work with us to be co-managers, then we need to be thinking about going above to international arena. And uh, one of the speakers here talked about the UN, the United Nations, and different articles to work through. And I think those are very important to consider as well. For a long time, we haven't thought about ourselves as an international state or players in that realm. And in many ways, the, the powers of the UN the state status don't recognize First Nations or our tribes in the states as sovereign nations, but we now have the indigenous rights uh, moving through the UN, so I think there's going to be mechanisms to bring a lot of these issues to light. So I think there's a, a good future ahead. We have to really prepare for it, and, and we need to mobilize our young people to get the tools that we need to become uh, warriors for the fish and warriors for the natural resources. And I think that's the main, uh, the main thing that, that I gathered from today and, and contributing to this meeting.